The next type of time shift operations on signal is called as time reversal. It is denoted by x of minus n and it is called also called as folding of a signal. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Okay, so we have x of n as 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, uh, my arrow is in the beginning. So it's right here. This means that my origin is here. All right, and then let's draw the table. So first column we have n, next column we have x of n, and then we have, uh, okay, sorry, I forgot to write what we are calculating. So um, we are calculating x of minus n, okay. So for the solution, uh, let's draw the table. We have first column as n, we have second column of, as x of n, and then we have third column as x of minus n, okay. We have n values as 0, 1, 2, 3, okay, uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, alright. And for x of minus 0 is nothing but x of 0, which is nothing but 1. x of minus 1, we don't know what it is, so we write 0. x of 2 uh, uh, x of minus 2 we don't know what it is so we simply write 0 x of minus 3 also we don't know so we are going to write 0 ok so now since we have just one non-zero number and three zeros we have to find out values for other uh, we have to find out x of n for other values of n ok so I am going to start with minus 1 ok I don't know what minus x of uh, sorry x of minus 1 is so this is going to be a dash okay now this is going to be x of minus of the value of n is what minus 1 so this is going to be what x of 1 we know the value of x of 1 it is nothing but 2 you getting this let's do minus 2 we don't know x of minus 2 so we are going to do what x of minus of minus 2 okay uh, please note that this we are substituting as the n value over here. So, the minus value has to be written first and then the value of n has to be substituted. So, that is what I am doing over here which is why I am getting a positive value inside this. So, x of 2 we do know the value of x of 2 which is nothing but 1 and then I have uh, let us consider uh, n is equal to minus 3. So, here I do not have any value but this will be x of minus of minus 3 which is nothing but x of 3 and I know the value of x of 3 it is 2 ok. So, this is my table. Uh, let me draw the original signal and the modified signal just for comparison ok. So, this is my original signal where n is on the x axis, x of n is on the y axis ok. This is my modified signal where n is on the x axis and x of minus n is on the y axis ok. Um, actually, this is also going to be a little bit on the right ok. So, this is x of minus n, we are going to have 0 here, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2 and 3, ok. Now, my original signal looks something like this. And my modified signal looks something like this. This I am getting from the values that I have obtained from the table which I have shown previously. Okay. So, basically if you see the original signal and the modified signal, the position of 0 is common the value for 0 is common ok. So, I sort of have, an, have a mirror image on the left hand side when it comes to the modified signal ok. So, the mirror image of original signal comes uh, into the modified signal. So, this is nothing but the reverse 
reverse of a signal okay so my zero the value at zero remains constant and there is a sort of a mirror image that you can see in the original signal uh, in the modified signal as compared to the original signal so this is called as my signal uh, this is called as my time reverse